Hey everybody, well who wants to get real? Let's get real baby. <laughs> yeah, we're getting real alright. Well I got a surprise in the mail today and I thought well I could just show my surprise and as you know we get a lot of surprises, many of us in the Beatles community from Robert P, my friend and yours. Robert, Robert if you're out there I know you're going to be watching this at some point. Robert, I don't know how to thank you. Uh, I'll always do my best to try to show my appreciation to you. I just hope it's enough. Sometimes I don't feel it's enough, but all I can say, Robert, is thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for what you sent to me. And you're going to see that in a minute, folks. That's the icing on the cake. I'm going to show you what Robert sent me. But I said, instead of just doing a quick two-minute video and showing what Robert sent me and how much I love it and appreciate it, I said, why don't I just do a full video about this album, talk a little bit about it, give my perspective on it, and, and that's it. Okay, so, the, mu the album is The Beatles' Real Music. All right, here's my copy, still in the shrink, still with the hype sticker on it, as you can see. Okay, let me talk a little bit about real music. I made some notes here, so if you see me referring to notes, I just, you know, my age, remembering this stuff is difficult. So, here we go. Real music. Okay, it was a compilation album issued on March 22nd, 1982. Sadly, I uh, hate to make this little point of trivia, but it was the first Beatles compilation that came out after John Lennon's passing. Okay, so this was the first item in a series of many we've gotten since up till late last year with the uh, White Album reissue, but this was the first one after John had passed that John didn't know about, obviously. So that's kind of a sad note, but it featured songs in all the Beatles films, uh, Hard Day's Night, Help, uh, Magical Mystery Tour, Yellow Submarine, and Let It Be. And um, it also coincided, when this came out in March of that year, it kind of coincided with the re-release of A Hard Day's Night. A Hard Day's Night, if you remember, those of you my age, remember back in 82 it was re-released to theaters in like digital, better quality, well, I don't know if it was digital then, but better quality, Dolby stereo sound, all this stuff was advertised about the re-release of A Hard Day's Night. And this album came out about that same time, so it was kind of like, uh, uh, a period of time where the Beatles films were being focused on with a theatrical re-release of A Hard Day's Night and the Beatles real music. Now this only made number 19 on the charts. I don't think it did that great. I don't have sales info for you, but I can tell you that it was eventually, I don't know when, certified gold. Alright, so it did receive gold status, meaning it had to sell at least 500,000 copies here in the US, uh, but it only made number 19 on the charts. About 42 minutes long, this album. I'm going to show you all the packaging and stuff in a minute. And um, what's cool about this album when it came out is it had th some unique stereo mixes that had not been on any U.S. release before. So I know a lot of people, let's get into the bad right now. I always felt, this is just my opinion, I, I can't speak for all of you, I always felt this was like one of the first Beatles re-releases that came out where I felt it was a cash grab, it was a waste, it was useless, why are they doing this, they're just trying to make a buck off us. This was the first release where I felt that way with the Beatles, okay? So that's the bad, that's the bad. Oh, and the other thing is I always hated the cover. I think this cover is horrible. Uh, you know, to the artist who designed it, bless you. I'm sure you did your best. You did what they asked you at Capitol or whatever. But this is a horrible cover. I never liked the cover. Here's the back. This silly artwork. You know, never liked it. Just my opinion. Don't like it. But anyway, so that's the bad stuff. The cover stinks. Is it a rehash of junk? Is it a cash grab? We could all look at it from different angles. You know, personally, I thought it was at the time. I'm happy to have it now. I will say that. My affection for this album has grown over the decades. Rather than go the other way, it's gotten better. You know, I look back on it fondly as a time in my life when I was just turning like 20 years old or 21, whatever I was. And getting new Beatles product, it, it started to become a thing that I've enjoyed over the years. And so I do look back fondly on this album, although at the time I didn't like it. Didn't like the rehash, didn't like the cover. 
but there were, let me get back to the positive, there were th some unique stereo mixes on here. Okay, there's uh, a stereo, a British stereo mix of I Am The Walrus on here, which had never been released in the U.S. prior to this. So that's a plus, okay? The other plus is A Hard Day's Night and Ticket to Ride appear here for the first time in true stereo in the United States. They're in true stereo. That's a plus, okay? And also there's a unique edit of I Should Have Known Better where the harmonica error, which was evident in the earlier releases in the U.S., has been corrected and fixed in this intro to I Should Have Known Better, the harmonica intro. Okay, correct me if I'm wrong, I may be wrong on some of these facts, but I'm just throwing them out there to you that there is some pluses to this release. And oh, another thing I should mention is also, and I have it here, there was a single that was released around the same time as the album. You could get a single. It had the same exact cover as the album, and it was called The Beatles Movie Medley was side A, and the flip side is I'm Happy Just to Dance With You. So I'll show you that right now, okay? Here's the cover of the single. Here's the back, and the back basically says, contains excerpts, excerpts from the following songs on the album Real Music. Magical Mystery Tour, All You Need Is Love, You've Got to Hide Your Love Away, I Should Have Known Better, a Hard Day's Night, Ticket to Ride, and Get Back. And it's, uh, now, I'm kind of confused here because on mine here it says that the backing song, oh, wait a minute, no, I'm not confused. Yeah, I'm confused, all right. I have two versions of this here, which I think is kind of unique. If it's not unique, tell me, Matt, you're wrong. It's not unique, it's no big deal. On my first one, it talks about all the songs that are on the medley, and it says the flip side is, I'm happy just to dance with you. Okay, so I have that one. And I'll show you that right now. Beatles movie medley. I'm happy just to dance with you. Nice, right? But in my other one, I have two of them for some reason. I don't know why. I have the cover. There's the back telling the songs that are on the medley. But then I get this other thing called the Fab Four on film. The Beatles talk about A Hard Day's Night in 1964. And as you can see here, there's the movie medley. And the flip side is Fab Four on film. So I have two unique singles here of the Beatles movie medley. I have one with I'm Happy Just to Dance With You and the Fab Four on film. Now maybe that was released like that back then. I don't know folks, you're gonna have to help me with that. Do I have something rare here or is it just run of the mill? I don't know. But anyway, so I have those, there's the singles. And I have to say one thing, like I said, when the album first came out there was negatives to it, things I didn't like about it. But I have to say, the cover stinks, but I always thought the rest of the packaging was pretty good. You got a nice inner sleeve with all these pictures. All right, I'll try to give you a little view of that. Okay, you get, get a good shot of that. And on the back, this is nice because it has the Beatles collection as it was released in America. Okay, I'll show you that. Nice. So I do like the inner sleeve, very nice, very attractive. And the label is a unique label again, on the vinyl. But you also got a very nice little souvenir program with it, which I thought was a nice touch. On the back it has some lobby posters and movie posters. Give you a view of that for a minute. Here's the front again with the same kind of motif as the front cover with the different characters of the Beatles from their films in the movie lobby, movie theater lobby, I should say. And then one nice touch is each page, double page, features each film. Talks about each film and pictures from it. So I'll show you each one. Here's A Hard Day's Night. There's Help. Very nice touch. Magical Mystery Tour. Yellow Submarine, Let It Be. You gotta say, folks, I mean, they did do a nice job with the unique label, with the inner sleeve, with the booklet that came with it. It, it was a nice touch. I will give them credit there. They did do a nice job with that. Although, albeit the album itself at the time, 
I think a lot of real hardcore Beatle fans were like, do we really need this? I mean, every song on here, other than those special mixes, uh, have been released before in numerous formats. Okay, so that brings me to the point of this video, is to thank Robert P. Because for the first time ever in my life, not only do I have my album and my singles and all that from the Beatles Real Music, I now have an official CD. Yes, this is rare. How many CDs of the Beatles Real Music are out there? Not many, folks, I'll tell you that. So I'm going to show you this beautiful package Robert P. created for me. Special. There's the back, just like the album cover. There's the front again. What's beautiful is he made a replica of the inner sleeve. There's the front of it. And what he did inside is he did this. He made a special little opening flip. So you can see what the single look like and everything. Uh, yep. That's the single, and then over here is just a couple of other images, and there's the back of the book with the song titles, small pictures there, here's the CD which I'm not going to take out, but it's beautiful recreation of the label from the album, and he recreated this, the book, <laughs> yes he did. He recreated the booklet. Oh my goodness, Robert. Where do you find the energy and the time to do this? I'm going to just quick, quick show you. He did every page. Help. Magical Mystery Tour. Yellow Submarine. Let it be, baby. Let it be. And the back he even did. How, how do I thank this man? This man is a genius. He's a genius. Robert, thank you. And to all of you, I hope you enjoyed this little video. I'm going to end it now and say sayonara and Robert beautiful package love it I'm gonna play it right now as a matter of fact I'm gonna go uh, maybe pump some iron and do a little work and I'll run around the block a little bit and put some Beatles on and I don't know what I'm gonna do but I'm gonna do something yeah I'm gonna listen to the Beatles that's what I'm gonna do Beatles it's all about the Beatles what what is life without the Beatles what